हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्क्वायर रूट इन डिविजन मेथड लेट्स सॉल्व स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 3881.29 सो बिफोर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस सम लेट मी टेल यू सम रूल्स दैट वी नीड टू रिमेंबर वी हैव टू पुट बार्स अब पेयर डिजिट्स Now this pair digits should be in such form so that we can put these bars in a proper form. Now let us focus on decimal. Before decimal, we will put bars in such a way that it will go in right hand side to left hand side. Look at the arrows, then you will understand. And after decimal, we will put bars in the form of left side to right side so we have chosen the numbers according to bars form successfully so first number is 38 next number is 81 and third number is 29 now for the first number 38 we need to choose numbers in such a way like squares of natural number either that will be less than 38 or will be equal to 38 for example 5 square 5 square means how much 25 So twenty five is less than thirty eight. So let's verify for the next number. Six square. Six square means thirty six. That is also less than thirty eight. So let us go for the next one. Seven square. Seven square means how much? Forty nine. And forty nine is bigger than thirty eight. So we cannot choose seven square. So we will go for six square. That is thirty six. So our divisor and quotient both will be same. Six into six, which is thirty six. So the second step. Now we will subtract this thirty six from thirty eight, which is coming two. And after that, the next pair digit that is eighty one, automatically it will come down. So which is becoming two hundred eighty one. Now step three. What will be the new divisor? New divisor will be double of quotient. So quotient previously it was how much? Only six, right? So double of six means twelve. Now with twelve. We need to adjust such a number so that same number we can put it in quotient. So our new divisor is how much? Only twelve. So with twelve, if we adjust one, means one to one. So with one to one, we will product the same number that is only one. So one hundred twenty one into one, which is coming one hundred twenty one, which is less than two hundred eighty one. So let's go for two. One hundred twenty-two into two, which is coming two hundred forty-four. That is also less than two hundred eighty-one. So let's go for the next number, that is one hundred twenty-three, and that will be multiplied again with three one two three into three. So which is coming three hundred sixty-nine. So three hundred sixty-nine is more than two hundred eighty-one. So we cannot go for one hundred twenty-three. So we will go for one hundred twenty-two. So as we are adjusting with two, so our new divisor will get adjusted with two, and that same number two we are going to put in quotient. So after right after six will be two, and after producting two with one hundred twenty two, it's coming two hundred forty four. So again we will subtract. So after subtracting this two hundred forty four from two hundred eighty one, it is coming thirty seven. Now, like the previous process. Next pair digit twenty nine should come down, but before twenty nine we can see decimal is there. So where that decimal will go? We will put that decimal directly in the quotient place. Then there will be no more problem with decimal. Now simply we can take down that twenty nine right after thirty seven. Now it is coming three thousand seven hundred twenty nine. So again in the same process the next new divisor will be double of the quotient. Now our quotient is sixty two, so double of sixty two is one hundred twenty four. Now again in the same way we will adjust with one hundred twenty four. So simply you can see here, it has been adjusted with one hundred twenty four three. So which is coming one thousand two hundred forty three, and three has been multiplied with one thousand two hundred forty three, and which is exactly coming three thousand seven hundred twenty nine. So after subtracting, it is coming zero. So the remainder is zero. So the final answer means square root of three thousand seven hundred twenty nine.
3881.29 is 62.3 now the last thing which is very important sometimes it will be given write your answer correct to two decimal places or two significant places so i will tell you what is the difference between decimal places and significant places first number i have chosen 4.357 if it will be said as decimal places right after decimal we will count and if it is significant place then we will count from the very beginning number from the very first number so first one i have done for decimal so 4.357 so right after decimal two digits we will choose so it is 35 right so after 5 which number is there 7 and 7 is in the range of 5 to 9 so 1 will be added just with the previous number so it will become 4.36 that's all and if we do this thing for significant places then what will happen we will count right from the beginning so 4.3 two significant places so four and three two places so 4.3 so right after three again who is there five so five is in the range of five to nine so again that one will be added with three so which is becoming 4.4 similarly i have chosen another number 0 0.0461 for zero little bit change will be there for decimal the process will be same so right after decimal we will choose two so 0 0.4 and after 4, 6 is there. So 1 will be added. So final answer will be 0 0.05. But for significant, we will neglect zeros which are in the front numbers. Like 0, 0.0. These two zeros we cannot take. So apart from zeros, we have to continue. So we will start from 4. So 4, 6. And right after 6, which number is there? 1. So 1 is in the range of 0 to 4. So, ultimately no changes will be there. So, when we will be writing answer, answer will be 0 0.046. While writing answer, you have to include 0. But while counting time, we will neglect 0. So, we need to remember these things. These things are very important. Thank you.